So we just launched Prep and Star Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that. Hey guys, welcome to the new video. So in this video, we'll be talking all about the logical reasoning ability questions for Accenture. Before moving ahead, guys, make sure you have a pen and paper with you because whenever I'll be solving your questions, I want you people to pause the video and try to solve those questions fairly. And whatever answers you are getting, I want you people to keep on giving those answers in the comments. Okay, let's move and let's see uh, what is the next question we have. Okay, before moving ahead, guys, one important thing, guys, that top three commenters on this video will be getting the free access to Prep and Star Prime subscription. So make sure I told you keep on commenting your answers. The top three commenters on this video will get free access to Prep and Star Prime. Okay, cool. Now let's see what is the next thing we have. So next thing over here is guys, make sure that you follow us on all our social media handles, this Instagram, WhatsApp, Discord, LinkedIn and Telegram. I especially want to emphasize on Instagram guys because we keep on giving off campus and on campus update on our Instagram handle. So make sure you follow us there because you will get all the latest update from our Instagram handle. The link for the same is the description of the video. So you can get the link from there. Okay, let's directly move to the questions now. Okay, so the very first question over here is in a certain code ethics is coded as DVIMBY then how would we chorus be called in the same code language? Okay, again guys, I told you, pause the video, try to solve this, find the logic, and then you can see what explanation, what is the correct answer for this one. Okay, let's see. So it's given that ethics. So let's write E-T-H-I-C-S, ethics, and the code word is D V I M B and Y. So let's write the place value of each and every alphabet. So what is the, okay, from E to D, I know generally the code word you have the, you know, logic among the number this way, let's check. So from E to D, I can say this is nothing but minus one, E minus one is D. Okay, from T to V, uh, P, let's T U V, so plus two. From H to I, I, again, I can say it's H I, so again, plus one. Okay, I to M, so what is I to M is nothing but, I can say it's nothing but plus four. Yeah, from C to B again minus one and from S to Y is nothing but, again I can say it's S U V T plus six. Correct. So this is basically the, you know, kind of pattern I'm getting, but I'm not getting any particular pattern minus one, plus two, plus one, plus four, minus one, plus six. Okay. So when, but one thing, make sure guys, the number of alphabets I'm having over here, the same number of alphabets I'm having in the code word. That means that I should apply the same logic. Okay. Let's see. It's C H O R U S. Okay. Let's see the, do the same thing. So minus one plus two. Okay. C minus one is nothing but B, which is in the option. Correct. H plus two J. Correct. So I can say this option is wrong. This option wrong. I'm left with these or two options only. So, okay. So let's check this W and uh, fourth one. So that is R only I have to check for R. I have to go for, you know, plus four. Yes. So R plus four is nothing but that is, yeah, that is nothing but V. Yes. R S T U V. So I am getting V over here. Okay. So B J V B J and this one is V. So that is nothing but option number D. No need to even finding the other other one. Why to waste time in finding the others one when I get the time using one alphabet? Because I know first alphabet should be V. So that's one two option option eliminated. After that B J P is common. So I have to check W and V. Out of W mean I got V is the correct one. So that's why I directly said D will be the correct answer. So this is how you can, you know, decrease your time by solving these questions. Only look for the, uh, you know, eliminate the options which are wrong and you will directly get the right answer. Cool. Okay, let's move forward and let's see what is the next question we have over here. Okay, so P, Q, R, S, T are cousins. Each of them have a favorite restaurant and likes to visit one of the, uh, one of them like Bunny House, Rajwada, Maithali, Pfizer, King Queen, 
ईच वन इज स्टेट लेवल इन वन ऑफ द फाइव गेम्स क्रिकेटर बैडमिंटन स्क्वैश चेस बैडमिंटन बेसबॉल क्रिकेट स्क्वैश बास्केटबॉल एंड ऑल आर बॉल गेम्स स्क्वैश एंड चेस आर इंडोर गेम्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट वन इज पी डज नॉट लाइक रजवाड़ा एंड किंग क्वीन रेस्टोरेंट एंड प्लेज अ बॉल गेम सेकेंड वन क्यू एंड एस डो नॉट प्लो एनी प्ले एनी बॉल गेम and one of them at pfizer as their favorite restaurant next one r does not like a restaurant king queen and plays an indoor ball game and fourth one t favorite restaurant is bunny house and it's a basketball player so they are asking which p's favorite game and restaurant respectively so i have to find out which is the favorite game for p's and what is the restaurant he is going so again guys pause the video try to solve this question i will tell you the shortcut approach of solving this by this you will get the answer in second also Okay, now let's see. So they are asking only P's favorite game and restaurant. Okay, so let's see which options cannot be the answer. Eliminate the option which are wrong. Okay, so P favorite game and restaurant respectively. Okay, P does not like Rajwada and King Queen. Okay, so Rajwada and King Queen P does not like. Okay, fine. And plays a ball game. So P is playing the ball game, guys. Ball game. Okay, and who all, which all are ball game over here? I know that cricket, squash, and basketball is a ball game. So cricket, basketball, and squash. Only these three are ball game. So out of these three, he will play any one of the game. So that means I can directly say that. Okay, cricket is possible, squash is possible, chess is not possible because chess is not a ball game. So directly, C option number C is wrong. Now coming to squash and this option number A and B. So let's see other options. Q and S does not play any ball game, and one of them has Pfizer as their favorite restaurant. Okay, Q and S does not play any ball game. R does not like restaurant King Queen and plays an indoor ball game. Okay, so. R is playing an indoor ball game, guys. So by by the way, I know there are only two indoor games that is squash and chess. Okay, indoor games are squash and chess. Okay, these are indoor games. Indoor ball games, and I know cricket, basketball, and squash all three are ball game. But out of these two, indoor ball game is only squash so that means r is playing squash so if r is playing squash that means p cannot play squash so a is again a wrong option so i have dealt with cricket and maithali okay let's check uh, cricket and maithali can be possible is uh, no other people should not take cricket okay so i know that t's favorite restaurant is bunny house and is basketball player so t is not a cricket player p is okay A Q and S does not play a ball game, and one of them was Pfizer. P does not play Rajwara King Queen, so I play a ball game. So directly, I got from eliminating other two options that only possibility out of these two options is cricket and my thali because a cricket is again P's favorite game. So P does not play Rajwara King Queen and plays a ball game. I know cricket is a ball game. Okay, and again, if you cancel out these, my thali will be the one which will be left for you. So out of these three options, I have already eliminated these two, and I got option number B as my correct answer by eliminating the option. I had no need to even draw this, you know, uh, you know, this table and then cutting off this. This will, uh, you know, take lot of time. So this is a shortcut way of approaching this problem. You can start with that way also. You get the same answer. But this is a shortcut way of approaching this problem by eliminating the option which are wrong, and I directly got my correct answer. Okay, let's move on ahead and let's see the next question now. Okay, so. The next question is, okay, so A percent B means A is not greater than B. A and B means A is neither greater than nor equal to B. A into B means A is not smaller than B. A add B means A is neither smaller nor equal to B. A hash B means A is neither smaller nor greater than B. Okay, so they have given some you know information, uh, symbolic information, and we have to find which out of the statement which conclusion is correct. Again, pause the video. Give your answers in the comments, guys. Okay, now let's see. So a into m. So what is the meaning of a into m? So I am writing these statements in their, you know, decoding way. So a into m into means a is not smaller than m. So if a is not smaller than m, that means a is greater than or equal to m. If a is not smaller than m, that means only a can be greater or equal to m. Second one, 
m at z so at means a is neither smaller nor equal to b so m is neither smaller nor equal to z so that means m is neither smaller so m is only greater to z not equal to even because neither smaller nor equal that means greater only third one z percent k so percent means z is not greater than k if z is not greater than k that means z is less than or equal to k okay now let's also find this conclusion in the decoding way so conclusion one is here z at m so at means z is neither smaller nor equal to m so neither smaller nor equal to that means greater than equal to m yes second one z and a and means z is neither greater nor equal to a so neither greater nor equal to that means z is less than a okay third one z hash a hash means z is neither smaller than nor greater than a so neither smaller nor greater that means z is greater than okay neither smaller nor greater means equal to sorry equal to a fine Okay, so now they are asking which conclusions are correct. Let's see. So I know z is greater to z is greater than m. Let's see how. Okay, if I say a is greater than m and m is greater than z, so I can say that z is greater than m. Can I say that or not? Okay, let's see. So a is greater than m and m is greater than z. So can I say z is greater than m? No, z is already less than m. So I can say all con conclusion number one is wrong. Second, z is less than a. Let's see, z is less than a or not? Okay, a is greater than m, and m is greater than z. So surely a will be greater than z. Yes or no? If a is greater than m, m is greater than z. Surely a will be greater than z. Yeah, that is correct. So that means second conclusion is correct. Let's check third one. Z is equals to a. Can I say z equals to a? No, z is greater than a. Z cannot be equal to a. a with because no conclusion is having you know equal to a uh, simplification so i cannot say that is equal to a so only conclusion number second is correct which is only option number a here i hope so also you also got the same answer only conclusion second is follows cool people find you know problem solving these kind of uh, problems so let me tell you how the people who but you know dedicately want to practice these kind of questions for the essential exam so the best place is you to go to you know uh, prepinsta prime and there we have uh, this company specific dashboard where you can see this essential dashboard where we have all the problem from previous year which came in essential from you know logical or you know quant side also or verbal side also but dedicatedly if you are your 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 basics are not clear in you know the statement conclusions or that relations and how to approach this kind of problem, short tricks and tips and tricks so we have explained through theory lectures also and we have explained through quizzes also like video lectures also like how to approach a problem with a shortcut way so this is the best place from where you can practice the essential you know questions for the same okay let's move ahead back to our you know question and let's see the next question now okay so again this problem is for visual reasoning so again guys pause the video and try to solve this and keep on giving your answers in the comments because top three commenters will get preference to prime subscription okay from the response a b c d identify which one of which completes the pattern given in the following problem so there is a problem figure and we have to find which out of option which repeat the following pattern which will come at this place i i think so this is a easy call but few people still find difficulty for you know solving the problem of visual reasoning for visual reasoning practice question also i will tell you from where to practice okay let's see so if i draw it over here so best way is to draw over here only like if you are a pen and paper you can draw here only like this way if i see this is and i will get this like this way and this will be like this something like this yes or no so few things to note these two lines are touching so is it in a no okay if i check this b no c yes because these two lines are touching in d this is touching here but you should touch here so d is also a wrong answer so directly you can see c is the correct answer this is the question which came in essential you know uh, in the visual raising part okay people finding difficulty in any type of questions in visual raising let me guide you from where you can prepare the you know visual raising part for essential 
so here we have you know if you move to you know prep insta we have a you know specific board where you can practice the essential problem for visual reasoning and you can also practice the same kind of problem so we have a segregated part for visual reasoning here if you go to here we have you know quants logical verbal and there is you can see the visual reasoning part here so here we have explained all the types of visual reasoning problem like embedded figures special reasoning you know all kind with theory lectures what kind of logics will be there in the visual reasoning so if you are having doubts in visual reasoning you can practice it from here and for essential specific this is the right place from where you can practice for the essential part okay let's move back to our you know next question okay guys so now let's see this one so ramesh walk 20 meters north then he turns right and walk 30 meters now he turns right and walk 35 meters now turning left he walks 15 meter again he turns left and move 15 meters finally turning left he again walks 15 meter in which direction and how far is from his original position again guys pause the video and try to solve this, this question from direction sense so make sure whenever you are drawing the directions which left and right don't do any mistake solve slowly slowly and throw your answer in the comments i'll be seeing that which who are getting the correct answer okay let's see so the ramesh walks 20 meter not suppose this is the ramesh position so i will be like this is 20 meter not direction then he turns right and walk 30 meter so right 30 this means this direction 30 now he turns right and walk 35 so if i'm facing each direction guys my right will be downward how much 35 so this is 20 let me 15 more so this is total 35 now turning left he walks 15 meter now guys if i'm facing southward direction my left will become right and my right become left so now turning left left means this direction how much 15 meter okay again he turns left and move 15 meter again turning left means not if i'm facing my east direction my left will be upward again how much 15 okay now finally turning left he again walk 15 meter in which direction and how far is from his original position okay original position how far is from so he walked 15 here 15 here now finally turning his left he again walk 15 meter so again if i'm facing north direction my left will be this direction so again 15 meter yes because i'm facing north so my left will be this direction so they are asking how far in which direction so this is 15 guys total is 35 so that means this is line of sight of this original position i am okay how much so i am facing i am from in the each direction from the original position and how far this is 30 guys so 30 meter east that means nothing but option number b 30 meter is my correct answer i hope so you also got the same answer yes okay so now let's see the next question over here so next question is there are five sofa chairs kept in the front of a table all chairs are facing the table and are kept equal distance from each other the person wearing the pink shirt uh, sits second to the left of one wearing the violet shirt the person wearing the gray shirt sits one of the experiments the person wearing the blue shirt at equal distance from those who wearing the violet and gray shirts so who sits at the screen left okay guys so again from arrangement but this is a different where you know color of shirts are given and they are given position of each other with respect to the color they are wearing so pause the video solve this and let's see who are getting the correct answer in the comments okay so first of all whenever i am solving the problem of arrangement i will look for the clue which is giving me the direct exact position of that person okay so the person wearing the pink shirt sits second to the left of the one wearing the violet shirt but i don't know where is violet person sitting so i cannot directly put the location okay the person wearing the gray shirt sit at one of the extreme end so that means gray person wearing the gray shirt will sit at the extreme end so maybe that means either gray will come here or either gray will come here both can be the possibility for gray because gray is sitting at the extreme end the person wearing the blue shirt at equal distance from those wearing the violet and green shirt okay so violet and gray sir sorry so they are saying the person who is wearing the blue shirt he is equal distance from the one wearing a uh, grey and violet shirt okay so if grey is here guys if grey is here 
so that means the blue shirt person is equal distance from gray and violet okay in that case i can say where should be violet guys if i put violet over here if i put violet over here gray and violet cannot be equal distance from blue because blue should take a position which is an odd position so that even places should be equal distance okay can i place here i can't place here again so that means the only position left for blue to take is this one if blue is here then only i can say violet will be here or if blue is here again violet should be here because they are saying blue is equal distance from gray and violet blue is equal distance from gray and violet so i got the exact position of violet that should be middle so violet should be in middle that is sure and certain okay and i know according to the place of blue okay the gray will be again place of gray blue will be there now the person wearing the pink shirt sits second to the left of one wearing the violet shirt okay so that is the, now i already know the position of violet so i know pink shirt shirt person sits second to the left of one wearing the so second to the left of violet what is the second to the left of violet is one and two that is pink yes if this is pink now the pink is there i know gray will sit at one extreme end so surely gray will be here only so if gray will be here i know blue will be here only because blue is equal distance from gray and violet that is one one place and gray is at one extreme end at this position i don't know which person will come if any color is left that will come but they are asking who sit at the extreme left end so i know extreme left end is nothing but pink so no need even i don't know this place i can directly say pink will be at the left end of the position so my correct answer is the pink person wearing the pink shirt will be at the left end so this question is kind of you know difficult if you stuck in a loop and you will not able to find the position because it's important to find the exact clue that is no matter condition possibility i'll take violet will always will come in the center if i set the position of violet i will get to know that okay if violet is here pink will be at the left end i can directly say pink will be at the top left left end of the row i also this is clear and you also got the same answer cool okay let's move ahead and let's see the next question now okay guys now let's see this one what is the code of ping in the code language okay so we have given two statements and we have to find what is the code word for ping statement data sufficiency questions guys two statements are given pause the video and give your answer in the comments so the first one in the code language can up down means cat walking pink okay next one down brown set means pink is wall okay now they are asking what is the code word for pink now let's see which all are common so can up down cat walking pink down brown set pink its wall okay can i answer using first statement alone which is a code word for pink no we can, i can't say because anyone can be the code word for pink out of these out of these things so i using first alone i cannot answer using even second alone i can't answer let's combine both the statement if i combine both the statement here okay so i know that here down is common pink is common here down is common pink is common so i can directly say that the code word for down is pink and the code word for down is pink because it's repeating the both the statements so and there is neither i because they are asking about pink so i can directly say for walking cat i can't say because anyone can be out of can up anyone count can be out of brown set for is wall okay but for pink i can directly say that pink surely will be the code word for down because that is only common in both the code words so i can answer what is the code for pink using both statement so if the statement first and second are together are sufficient to answer the problem over here cool okay now let's see the next question over here okay so this is again from statement conclusion guys so again pause the video and try to solve this so some novels are pencils some pencils are books some books are flowers okay let's see using venn diagram some part of novels are pencils okay some pencils are books 
and some books are plus fine now let's see so conclusion some flower are novel can i say some flowers are novel no some books are novels not possible some novel are books no not sure no flower is novel no flower is novel again i can't say now let's see the conclusions because all four are wrong but i have to see the options accordingly only first follows no only second follows no if either one or second follow can i say one or second or either of them follows one or second if either conclusion one or second follows one is some flowers are novel second is some books are okay it's either one and four follows why because some flower or novels and no flower novels both are contradictory statement so one is possible at a time so in such kind of questions we have to see the conclusion which are contradictory if you notice this is some flower or novel and this is no flower is novel so some flower or novel and no flower is novel both are contradictory statement guys so whenever we have two contradictory statement one is possible at a time so that's why is or is there so if either conclusion one or four follows so out of second it should be four follows so option number c is correct out of these two one follows over here so that is the correct answer not this one even fine cool okay then now let's see the next one okay so this is from blood relation guys uh, symbol notation pause the video and try to solve this if k plus l means k is a brother of l k minus l means k is a sister of l and k into l means k is a father of l then which of the following means that p is the son of q okay in the meanwhile guys you are solving uh, the same kind of problem i i i let you know from bigor from where you can prepare the same kind of problem uh, i would suggest you if you practice it from the particular place on prepensa if you are prepensa prime subscriber you already know the place but still people who are not the prime subscriber for those people if you want to practice the blood relation we have a you know full flash for course for logical verbal and you know quants also so especially for this you know blood relation because people find mistakes you know being making family charts how to statement based blood relation questions or symbol notation questions so you get lot of confusion so this is a place from where you can get the theory lectures from the basic we explain to the advanced level and similarly if you want to practice more questions of essential specific for blood relation this is a place from where you can prepare the same kind of questions for essential okay let's see the question which we were solving yeah so i hope so you got the answer and you have resumed the video after pausing let's see so if k plus l means k is a brother of l k minus l means k is a sister of l and k into l means k is a father of l so which of the following means that p is the son of q okay so in these kind of problems guys generally these problems take your more consume more time why because you have to uh, people you know they solve each and every option then find the answer let's be more smarter and let's try to solve it verbally with the option let's see which option we are finding is least possibility and we'll cross those options and we'll find the right answer so they're asking which of the thing mean that p is the son of q that means p is the son of q this we want okay p is the son of q now let's see first option q okay i want only q and p fine so q minus n so minus means q is the sister of n okay q is the sister of n n into p n is the father of p if q is the sister of n and n is the father of p what is the relation between q and p q is the sister of n n is the father of p can i say q is the father of p no q and n are sister and p is the son of sister sister son q cannot be the father so that means i can say this is the wrong option no need to draw the whole you know diagram next one okay let's go with option number d or, or b okay b f minus p or i have to emphasize only q and and uh, p and q so let's solve only p and q p plus n p plus p is the brother of n so p and n are brother and n into q means uh, n is the father of q so p and n are brother and n is the father of q i want p son but here p is uncle so that is also wrong let's solve c n plus q minus f okay i again want q and p whatever they are asking in the answer you have to only emphasize to this don't need to solve this part 
q minus f so q is the sister of f q is the sister of f f into p f is the father of p and q and f are sister and f is the father of p f q and f are sister p cannot be the son of q so again this is wrong so only one option left that is this surely should be correct let's check how so let me draw it for you q into n that means q is the father of n n minus p n is the sister of p p plus f p is the brother of f fine so which of the following that p is the son of q yes surely q goes n is the daughter of q and n and p are siblings so surely p is also the son of q so answer is option number d should be the correct answer okay guys before ending this session make sure you follow us on all our social media handles like instagram whatsapp discord linkedin and telegram because we keep on giving off campus and on campus and update on our instagram handle if you are someone who is 20 23 year pass out you know uh, pass out year so make sure you follow our 20 23 year handle because we keep on giving if you see our 23 handle so you can see we have given lot of like amazon is hiring you know infosys is hiring okay all is hiring microsoft hiring and all the updates on our instagram handle because we we are not keep on coming live for all the hiring updates but instagram is one place where we keep all the updates so make sure you follow the 2023 preference to handle for all the latest update for the same okay that's all for this session guys so before ending make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon because we'll be soon coming live for more sessions so whenever we'll be coming live you'll get all the updates and notification so make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you so much guys that's all for this session see you in the next session